Hey guys, Henry here. Today I'll bring bringing you a tutorial on the advanced gyro. Because, well, a lot of people have been asking for it. And I really don't want to explain it every time, though I've tried. Um, for this one, we need the SBEP tools, which is the Gyropod Advanced, Part Spawner, and Part Assembler. And if you really want to go overboard, Smart Weld. But be careful with that thing, guys. Alright, I'll make a small ship just to demonstrate. We'll start with the medium prop, med bridge, whatever you want to call it. Not too big on names. Cockpit, or bridge, and your engine. I don't care what your engine is. It's just, it's all up to you. This is just a quick little demonstration. Put it all together with that. If you don't know how to use that, then now you do. Click, click, that simple. Um, so go ahead and smart weld together. If it's over 10 props, I don't recommend you smart welding anything. Because you're just going to crash the server. It's very, very easy to crash the server with smart weld. You didn't know that. Um, find the center line of your ship. That prop is pretty big. That one's and that one are the same size. So I'm gonna put it right around here. Um, there's three props. That one's about twice the size of that. So right, maybe right here. Does that, that look like the center? Oh, there's somewhere. Let's put it right here. Yeah. Go ahead and spawn it. I'm gonna make sure it's facing forward. Has to be facing forward. Um, go ahead and no it all. Right click it. Shoot it. Why do that? Alright, that looks about centered still. Uh, make sure it's lined up perfect. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, just how you want it. Um, so hold it in. And then there's your gyro. It's not done yet, obviously. Um, next we'll have a chair. Well, fuck it. Nope, it's vehicles. Uh, I like the Prometheus chair. You don't have to use that one, but I love it. I don't know why. It's just, it just looks amazing. Um, plop it down anywhere you want. Preferably right here because it's kind of where the chair goes. Um, well done. There you go. Um, I like to make that way nothing because I don't know. I just do. It's prefer preferable if it doesn't weigh anything. No at all, so it doesn't start like spazzing out in the space tornado. Oh, I hate those things. Um, let's get a wire. Find your advanced pod controller. Put it right back. Click. Right click linked up. Um, let your wire advanced tool. Step back. Uh, and here's all your inputs or outputs, whatever you want. Um, this is pretty pretty simple, but to anybody else, be like, what? I am 12 and what is this? Okay, let's start with it. Activate goes to active. That is very, very simple. Now, the rest is pretty much what you want. Um, I got in the level, make sure that's on R. They'll level you out if you start spazzing out. Um, for freeze, this is a little trick. Uh, I was taught by somebody in the server. Go down to, well, I should probably should tell, well, I can't talk today, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Gate, not, or invert, and logic gates. Put it wherever you want in the chair. Put that to active. And go back up here. And put freeze, gate. Now, that, what that does is, if you think about it, activate goes to that. So, activate, when you're not active, it'll be frozen. Pretty cool, huh? You don't freak out and lose your ship if you decide to bail. Alright, now, I'm just going to do it how I like it. You can do it how you want it, and whatever. I'm just going to show you. Forward, let's go to W. Back. Yes. Um... Rolling and yaw. I really can't decide between the two. If I'm doing mouse controlled, I'll do a roll. But if I'm just not, then I'll just use a yaw turn. But I'll use mouse controlled for this one. I'll use rolling. Hmm. That's about it. Multiplier says mult, yaw mult. Uh, to fix those, it's if you're going too fast, too slow, turning too fast, turning too slow. Fine tune it however you want. Use constant value and just wire it up and then just give it for a test and if you don't like it then change it a little bit. If you want a bit faster then make it a bit faster. It, the choice is yours. So, Alright. Um, that's about it for that part. Next we're going to make it mouse controlled. To do this, right click your gyro then right click your seat and your mouse controlled. Alright. Now, it looks like we're done, right? Let's t take it for a test run. 
Oh, if you want to change the skin of it, take your skin switcher tool and just mash it a few times. There we go. It's awesome now. All right. There's not gonna be life support in it yet. I'll show you that in the next video. Rolls a bit fast, but ah well, it's good for now. And it's a bit slow for this size. I'll change the multiplier a little bit. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's all you need to know. If there's anything more, just ask me. I will tell you or show you. Thanks for watching, guys.